In this video, I'll be installing updated policy templates for managing Windows 11. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And for installing policy templates, we have two options. First, we can install it locally on a computer or a server. And second option is to install it in a central store. Installing it locally would allow us to create group policies with updated policy templates on that single computer or server for all the computers in our domain. And Central Store allows us to have single location for the policy templates for all the computers and servers in our domain. And this means that we can create group policies on any computer or server that has Group Policy Management Console installed. Basically, long story short, this location right here, installing policies on a local computer or server, is good enough if you're managing all your policies on a single server or workstation, and Central Store is better when you're managing group policies on multiple servers or workstations. And in this video, I will focus only on the Central Store. And now to begin this video, I will be downloading updated policy templates for Windows 11. And for that, I will go to the link that I have in here that brings us to the Microsoft documentation. And here we have policy templates for different versions. I will click on the latest one. Then I will click on the download button right here. And then I will go to my downloads folder. As you can see here, I have the executable. I will right click on it, select copy, and then I will go to my Vimbar workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And for now, I will place the executable on my desktop. And one thing to note here is that if this was my production environment, I would not be installing this executable on my domain controller. Instead, I would use some type of testing machine to install this executable and then grab the necessary files because we don't need to install anything. We only need the files that are inside of this executable. But before installing anything, first I want to show you that currently in my environment, I'm using local policy templates. And for that, I will go to my server manager, then I will click on tools and select group policy management. I will right click on any policy that I have here and select edit. And here we want to go to computer configuration, expand policies, and then we want to click on administrative templates. And then we get this message right here saying retrieve from the local computer. And this means that in my environment, I'm using local policy templates. And that means that all of my servers and all of my computers, each of them have its own copy of policy templates locally. Also, I want to show you that if I expand administrative templates and then go to Windows components and search for widgets, you see that I don't have a widgets folder in here. And that's because on the server locally, I have older policy templates. And that's the reason why I'm updating them in the first place. Anyways, now I'll close this window and go back to my installer. I will click on it. I will click next here. I accept the license agreement. Click next once again. And the location here doesn't really matter. So I'll click next and install. And then finish. And the installation is over, but the policy templates are currently inactive because they are currently sitting in the program files folder and that's not the correct folder for the policy templates. So now let's open file explorer, go to this PC, C drive, program files, and then Microsoft group policy. And then we can select this folder. And here we have the policy definitions folder that contains all the policy templates. And this policy definitions folder was created by this executable. And for now, let's leave this folder as is because we need to visit a few other locations. First, let's go to the file explorer. Let's go to this PC, C drive, Windows. And here we have another policy definitions folder that contains other policy templates that we have locally on the server. And the policy templates that we see here are active and they are the same policy templates that we see when we are editing group policies in the group policy management console. And now I will convert this policy definitions folder into a central store. And then I will overwrite it with the policy templates that I have in this folder that has the newer version. And to do that, I will open another Explorer window. And this time I will go to my domain share. So it's my domain name, ad, let's do automation.com. Then let's go to the sysfold folder. Let's click on the link here and go to policies. 
and this is another way how you can find out if you're using the central store because if you're using the central store in this folder you would see policy definitions folder and to enable the central store is very simple basically we only need to go back here and copy the policy definitions folder that we have in the windows drive and if you see a policy definitions folder here you don't need to do that instead you can just update it by copying this policy definitions folder in here so first i will be copying the policy definitions folder from my windows drive as you can see here so once again i will copy it and then i will paste it here and that's basically it we have the central store enabled if i go to my group policy management console and edit this policy once again let's go to computer configuration policies and administrative templates this time we get this message right here saying policy templates policy definitions retrieved from the central store and that means that the central store is active so now that we have the central store we can update the policy definitions folder with all the new policy templates files so i'll copy the policy definitions folder that i got from this executable into my central store so once again i will copy from here and paste it here and here i will click replace the files in the destination and that's basically it now we have central store enabled and also we updated the policy templates in our environment if i go to group policy management edit any policy then let's go to computer configuration policies and administrative templates and this time if i go to windows components you can see that we have few more options for example like i was searching before for the widgets folder we have it right here now and that's because the policy templates were updated successfully now if i go to my other server that i have here then go to tools group policy management console and let's edit once again any policy and let's go to computer configuration policies click on administrative templates you can also see that this server right here is using the central store and also if i expand administrative templates and go to windows components we can also here see that we have widgets and that's because now that we have the central store instead of using local policy templates all of my servers and all of my workstations are using the central store that we have configured in the domain share right here and that's basically it for this video like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one